Hi, my name is Bethany and I make videos about living with sharp primary tooth disease. And recently I made a video about how I found out that I have restrictive lung disease with my CMT. And I wasn't sure what the reaction was going to be to that video. And I certainly didn't expect all of the messages I got from other people who are dealing with the same thing. And who are also noticing weird things with their breathing um, with their CMT. So I'm going to make a few more videos about this topic um, and specifically some things that have helped me and some things that I'm trying in the hopes that they'll help me. So first is this weird little device. I, at my last appointment with my physician, my respiratory physician, I was basically like, look, I'm 28. <laughs> I've got these breathing problems. I'm willing to do anything, right? Just like lay it all on me. Like, is there any possible thing I could be doing to help that I'm not already doing? Um, and one thing he mentioned was trying a breathing muscle trainer, which is what this is. And basically it's resistance training for your breathing muscles, uh, sort of like how you would just you know, train any muscle group with dumbbells or something like that. And I was pretty psyched about that idea, um, something that would make my breathing stronger. Uh, but he also really cautioned me because he said there aren't studies that have been done with these kind of muscle trainers um, and CMT. We just don't have the studies, we don't have the data. And he said there's been studies on other types of disease groups like COPD that have shown a benefit from this kind of breathing resistance exercise, but that some of those studies also showed that the benefit stopped as soon as you stopped training. And he was really concerned about what he described as the burden on the patient and giving me something that I now have to do 10 minutes a day for the rest of my life that he isn't sure will be a benefit to me. Uh, but I was still like, yeah, no, let's give it a try. <laughs> and he referred me to a uh, physiotherapist who is really experienced with respiratory issues and neuromuscular disease. And she was really psyched to try this for me. Um, and I think she was honestly looking for people to experiment on and see if this type of therapy helps with CMT. So she prescribed me this. Um, the specific brand is the Power Breathe, but I know there's other brands on the market. I think this is a UK company. And what she did is in the office, she calibrated my breathing strength for this device. Um, she had me take a bunch of breaths and she had it all hooked up to a computer and it, it was very complex um, but also really simple to do. And once we did that, she got me the device and this is just a little mechanical device. It's not electric or anything, but she was able to set my resistance on here. And I'll show you how I use it. So you first want to just let all of the air out of your lungs. And then you want to take a deep, sharp breath in with all of your strength. And she's recommended that I start by doing 30 breaths a day, five days a week. And when I breathe in, I feel that resistance. Um, now over time, if hopefully my breathing muscles get stronger, um, I'll be able to go back and check with her and she can actually increase the, the resistance on this machine. So here's the, the one thing I wanna mention. I was really enthusiastic about this. And when that first physician was telling me about the burden on the patient, I was like, please just burden me away. Uh, but now that I have it, I have barely used it because it is another, 
it's another thing to do to take care of myself and it's something that is like a real reminder that I am ill and it's a reminder that my breathing isn't great um, and so I found myself putting it off and just kind of ignoring its existence but my commitment to all of you <laughs> is that for the next couple months I'm going to do this diligently and I'm going to see if I can notice any impact and report back because if this could help that would be really incredible. Um, so wish me luck and I will be back with some updates and some other suggestions for things that I have found that have really helped with my breathing. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.